in this video we estimate general linear model with the help of least square method here we take an example of k variable linear regression model before going to k variable model let us familiar with two variable linear regression model in a two variable linear model or simple linear model say the values of y is depend on the values of x such that y i equal to a plus b x i plus u i where i goes from 1 to n where y i is the dependent variable x i is the independent variable a is intercept parameter b is slope parameter and ui is the disturbance term or random variable an example of two variable linear model may be taken as consumption expenditure is a function of family income so the model may be framed as consumption expenditure equal to a plus b times of family income plus ui ui is the disturbance term or random variable the disturbance the disturbance term ui is a surrogate for all those variable that are omitted from the model but they have collective effect on y it happens for many reasons like vagueness of theory unavailability of data poor proxy variable principle of parsimony wrong functional form etc because of these reasons we add random variable ui to an econometric model though we have explanatory independent variable similarly considering a three variable linear model say the values of y is depend on the values of x2 and x3 such that y i equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x2 i plus beta 3 x3 i plus u i if if we consider y i as sign mortality x2 i as per capita gnp x3 i as family literacy rate and u i as disturbance term or random variable and assuming that the sign mortality is determined by per capita gnp and female literacy rate then this three variable linear model can be written in actual form as cmi equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 into per capita gnp or p and gpi plus beta 3 flri or family literacy rate plus ui this way we can frame linear regression model considering multiple variable now assuming linear relationship between variable y and k minus 1 explanatory variables x2 x3 dot dot xk a general linear model may be written as y i equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 times of x to i plus dot 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 plus beta k times of x k i plus u i where i goes from 1 to n if we have a sample of n observations on y and x is then i goes from 1 to n and we have n equations as y1 equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x21 plus dot 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 plus beta k xk1 plus u1 
this equation is for first observation and for second observation we have y2 equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 times of x to 2 plus dot 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 plus beta k times of x k 2 plus u 2. So, this way for end observation we get equation y n equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 times of x to n plus dot dot plus beta k times of x k n plus u n. This system of equation can be written in matrix form as column vector of observations on y equal to matrix of observations on x is multiplied by column vector of the parameter beta plus column vector of random disturbance term u i s. Order of the y matrix is n by 1, order of the x matrix is n by k, order of the beta matrix is k by 1 and order of the random disturbance terms matrix is n by 1. Here we write this matrix is y, this matrix is x, this matrix as beta and this matrix as u. Therefore, y equal to x beta plus u is the k variable linear model where y is n by 1 column vector of observations on y, x is n by k matrix of observations on x, beta is k by 1 column vector of parameters and u is n by 1 column vector of disturbances. Now, under the assumptions, expected value of u i equal to 0 for all i, u i are variables with zero expectation. Expected value of u u dash equal to sigma square times of an identity matrix for all i's u i have constant variance sigma and zero covariance between u i u j. X is a set of fixed number that is the x i are fixed in repeated sampling. X matrix has full column rank that is k or all the column in x must be linearly independent but k must be less than n or number of parameters must be less than the number of observations and disturbance term u must normally distributed between expected value 0 and constant variance sigma square times of identity matrix and considering beta k or beta hat as the estimate of beta we may rewrite equation 1 as y equal to x beta k plus e that is equation number 2. Now the difference between equation 1 and equation 2 is that in equation 1 beta is unknown coefficients and u is unknown disturbances but in equation 2 beta k is the set of estimates of beta and e is the residuals or e is the column vector of residuals from equation 2 we express e or residuals as e equal to y minus x beta k now the sum of squared residuals is sigma e i square i goes from 1 to n that is equal to e dash e because e is a column vector so e dash e will express the e i squares and that is equal to 
y minus x beta k f transpose into y minus x beta k f transpose of y minus x beta k f is y dash or y transpose minus beta k f transpose into x transpose thus we get y transpose y minus y transpose x beta k f minus beta k f transpose x transpose into y plus beta k f transpose x transpose x beta k f here y transpose x beta is equal to beta k f transpose x transpose y because y transpose x beta k f or beta k f transpose x transpose y is a scalar now why they are scalar now see their orders so after multiplication we get 1 into 1 matrix that is a scalar so a y transpose x beta k f is a matrix of order y by y or it is a scalar thus y transpose x beta k f is equal to beta k f transpose x transpose y now since these two term is same so we get y dash y or y transpose y minus twice beta k f transpose x transpose y plus beta k f transpose x transpose x beta k f that is equation number 3 now according to the principle of least square method the value of beta k f minimizes the sum of squares e transpose e for minimizing the sum of squared residuals we have to differentiate e dash e with respect to beta k f and to equalize with 0 that is partial derivative of e transpose e with respect to beta k f is equal to 0 after differentiation we get minus twice x transpose y plus twice x transpose x beta equal to 0 that is x transpose x beta equal to x transpose y or beta cap is equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y therefore beta cap equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y is the least square estimator of beta therefore beta cap is the OLS estimator of beta now under these assumptions the OLS estimator beta cap is best linear unbiased estimator or blue best in the sense that the OLS estimator beta cap has minimum vari variance than the other estimators that is variance of beta cap then the variance of beta star beta star is another estimator or it is not OLS estimator so linear in the sense that the OLS estimator beta cap is linear function of observed variables y i's because beta cap is equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y unbiased in the sense that the OLS estimator beta cap is unbiased estimator of beta that is expected value of beta cap is equal to beta now for this two variable linear model beta cap is the column vector of beta naught cap and beta 1 cap and here x is this matrix and y vector is this therefore x dash x is a matrix is the matrix of n <coughs> summation xi summation xi and summation xi square therefore x dash x or x transpose x inverse is equal to this and x transpose y 
is the matrix of summation y i and summation x i y i. Now substituting their values in this relation we get beta naught cave is equal to summation x i square into summation y i minus summation x i into summation x i y i divided by n into summation x i square minus summation x i whole square which is also equal to y bar minus beta 1 cap x bar and the estimator of beta 1 cap is equal to n into y i summation y i square plus summation x i into summation y i divided by n times of summation x i square minus summation x i whole square. In case of three variable linear model y i equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 i plus beta 2 x 2 i plus u i we use the relation x transpose x beta cap equal to x transpose y to estimate their parameters. Here the x matrix is this and y matrix is this. So x transpose x is found this and x transpose y is found this. And uh, substituting their values in this relation we get this and we get the estimator beta 1 cap is this and uh, estimator of beta 2 cap is this and finally the estimator of beta naught cap is equal to y bar minus beta 1 cap into x1 bar plus beta 2 cap into x2 bar. That means after estimation of beta 1 cap and beta 2 cap, we may estimate the beta naught cap using this relation. Well, this is the procedure of estimating a general linear model by using least square method and that can be used or applied for estimating two variable linear model and a three variable linear model. Thank you.